Hello everybody, I'm Andy from Luminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Zoom ISO as an ingest system for Wirecast. We're going to set up eight video outputs from Zoom ISO and bring them in via NDI so that you can cut between those eight different sources inside of Wirecast to build a show. So um, we're going to hop over to the Mac now and take a look at Zoom ISO. And you can see I've already logged it into a meeting. If you want to learn more about that, you can look at our Getting Started video on our channel. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set eight outputs. So I'm going to go down to the drop-down list and set eight as my number of outputs. My default display is going to be screen zero, so I'll go ahead and leave that. And I'll leave it at 720p for now, but you can select different resolutions from this drop-down list. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through and just assign participants to the different outputs here. So I'm just going to scroll through this list and pick some people to assign to outputs. Um, so I'm just going to go through and, and click. Now you could do this without clicking by um, actually going in and using this via OSC, and we have other videos you could look at at that. But just to set it up once the first time, uh, I'm going to go through and just click on this drop-down list to select my different outputs. So you can see at the bottom of my screen, I have both NDI and Siphon enabled. Now, unfortunately, the latest versions of Wirecast no longer have the ability to output to Siphon. Uh, they had to remove that when they ported from OpenGL to Metal. But um, we can totally use NDI, and realistically, you would probably run Wirecast on a separate computer from Zoom ISO anyway, as you're, as you're having a dedicated ingest computer. So that would be a separate thing anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and run Wirecast, and we'll create an empty document. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw some sources into layer zero here. So I'm gonna go through and hit the add source button and I'm on my network tab here so I can see my eight Zoom ISO outputs available here on this dropdown list. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding them. So I'm gonna click add and I'm gonna add another one. And we'll just go ahead and repeat this process until we have all eight sources coming in individually. There's my fifth, my sixth, my seventh, and my eighth. And assuming I didn't hit anybody's name twice, yep, that looks good there. We have now eight unique sources that we can cut between inside of Wirecast. Uh, and this is great because this will allow us to treat these sources as they were individual cameras or something like that, so that we can really composite and build out transitions and things like that without having to be scraping the Zoom call or doing something like that. So I hope that helps you when you're trying to bring a new Zoom contribution system into your workflow. And let us know if you have any questions at info at or check out the other videos on our channel. We'll see you in the next one.